Hi everyone, right now I'm on the top of the mountain and this is a very popular religious place in Vietnam. I can feel the wind, I can feel the fog, I can feel the sun shining on me. I feel like the mountains, the rocks, they are all right beside me. The nature is such an amazing feel. Can you guess where we are now? What's up guys? We are in Inkto Wangnin. We're going to start from the top and work our way to the bottom. What are you doing, Justin? I'm just enjoying myself, relaxing a little bit. I don't know, it's peaceful up here. I like it. Wow, you look like a monk. Do I look like a monk with yeah, my shaved head and my yip? No, I'm a be sorry to burst your bubble, to burst somebody's bubble, disappoint them in a fun way. But v, you know I'm too carnivorous and I love my meat and I can never give it up. To give something up, you no longer have in your life. But v, I love meat, I can't become a monk. But you on the other hand, I think you would be a perfect nun. Give up your phone, your, uh, what is it, pow my lifestyle? Yeah. Dustin? Yes? You know me better than that. I know. You could never become a nun. I, I do. Man. Guys, I'm really sorry for the wind. I know it's gonna be really hard for you to listen to us speaking, but yeah. We are on top of the mountain. Yes, we are, and we hiked up here, and I'm in better shape than you. Much faster. If somebody is in better shape, it means they're more fit. They probably exercise more than I do compared to V. But yes, so guys, bear with us because the audio is going to maybe have a little bit of uh, some issues. Okay, so V, since we're up here and I don't know much about where we are, and as a foreigner, I love to learn about Vietnamese culture and history. Can you please do me a favor and break everything down for me? So to break something down is to explain stuff in detail. So tell me everything, V. <laughs> it's my pleasure, Dustin. And even though I cannot open my eyes due to the sun, I will walk you around and show you. Okay, so just squint like this the whole time. You can talk to me like this. Yeah, that's so right. Keep your eyes squinted, okay. So let's go, V. Lead the way. Thank you. How do I do this? Like this. Put your palms together, and then three times bow to the Buddha. So why do we do it three times? Because there are la three levels in the Buddhism, I believe. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this small temple or pagoda on top of this mountain. So, to the best of my knowledge, this was once a hermitage and in the like 13th century, I believe, okay. we had a king, he was Chen Yun Tong. So, he gave up his throne to his son, he moved to this place and he practiced meditation, he found a Chuk Lam uh, Zen Sag, it's kind of a meditation practice. Ah, okay, and okay, he, gotcha. he, like he embraced a lifestyle which like leads towards positivity. Yeah. You can yeah. say it. And um, I think he was so important in the history of Buddhism in Vietnam. And yeah, we call him Buddhist king. Buddhist king. So he gave up being a king to become a, a monk. That's right. I mentioned earlier, you guys gave up, but he stopped doing what he was doing before. So he was a king, gave up, stopped that, became a monk. It's wild though. Yeah, and he left such a very monumental religious culture. Yeah, yeah, you could say that, yeah. yeah. Like this influence, what happened afterwards. Because for me, what's wild is it's like, we're here, mm -hmm. and then all around us. It's to, nature. To come up all the way up here to meditate and do what he did, like that's yeah. remarkable. I don't know how often he went down the mountain, but to come up here, especially yeah. then with no uh, cable cars. That's right, so much effort. Absolutely wild, that is wild. So much respect to him. So V, thank you for being my teacher today and teaching me about uh, Buddhism in Vietnam. And you are very welcome. Thank you for coming with me. Yes, okay. So. Let's go.
burst one's bubble. So think of like a bubble and then you pop the bubble and you might be a little bit sad or disappointed. Kind of similar to that, but it's used more in a fun, friendly way. So for example, I'm talking with my best friend and he's telling me about some sort of historical event and he's completely wrong. So I say to him, sorry to burst your bubble, but that was incorrect. And then I explain to him, burst one's bubble. Break something down. Literally, it means like you're dismantling something or you're actually taking it apart. But in this context, it's to explain something in a simpler way. For example, I'm talking with V and I ask her, you know, can you break down the history of Vietnam? Can you explain it to me in a simpler way? As you guys can see, we're no longer on the mountain and V is already upset with me. Unfortunately, the producer always sides with her on this show. He always supports her rather than myself. So I have to make it up to her. I gotta make her happy once again. And unfortunately, that requires me to take a lot of pictures for V because she's very, how am I? So let's go get V. Ready? All right, V. Dab kham, dab kham. Wow, that's amazing. Dab lam nha. Dab lam. Wow, pretty, beautiful. So now I'm gonna take photos for you, okay? You're making things up to me, right? No, yes, I am making it up to you right now. So. But... Okay. Oh my God. I did it. All right, thank you for the pictures, Dustin, even though they are not really good. But I guess that's all you can do. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Can you take some photos for me? For you? Yeah. So I have this plan right now. I want to try to do like a Spider-Man theme. So you're going to have to t like help me take some photos like where I'm acting like Spider-Man. Is that possible? What's for? So I can post on my Facebook and check in where I'm at right now. Can you help me? Thank you so much. Let's do this, okay? <laughs> 